I feel bad saying this, but one of the main things I was told or instructed to relay to everybody was that even though they're doing all these scientific breakthroughs on reconstructing people that were injured in the war and stuff like that, like giving them a metal leg and letting them learn how to use that with their own mind is fine, but giving them chips to not only like, virtually control something with their mind that's an exoskeleton kind of thing, those, those kind of advancements need to stop because those things will first of all start killing people because they'll short circuit and no matter what they say they, they won't, they, they can and the, also their, the metal that goes into their body will cause them to live shorter anyway and on top of that even if they were to construct something in, in the future when they construct things like that with people that have a, a traumatic or some tr really big trauma in their life, their cellular memory to their cells, to their memory, to their, to their, you know, their non-physical memory is so dramatic and traumatic that unless they did the proper kind of spiritual work to exercise all that heavy karma that's on their soul, I know this sounds weird because we're talking robotics and then putting a soul in there. Well, this is where they start drawing the line between a person with a soul and putting a robot in there. Like, if somebody starts getting advancements by giving him metal bodies and the ability to, you know, construct an exoskeleton that can defend somebody, they still have resentment and bottled up anger that isn't going to be all worked out in this lifetime. So we have to let them die. I'm not trying to be mean, but the only thing it could possibly do, besides let them live a little longer this time, is have breakthroughs given to the next generation without, unless we start working on people's spirituality early in their lives and getting them clear of violent, revengeful, or violent, vengeful thoughts, then and there won't be wars. And if there wasn't a war that people are trying to be reconstructed from, say they're being reconstructed from a, uh, an, an injury in a sport that was played in good sportsmanship and they had no resentment against the person who injured them by accident, then, then we would be able to do stuff like that. But we need to take a break and let that stuff sit on the shelf and let people work on their consciousness, their spirituality, and how much they can accept pain, uh, past like past and present pain that's going on, suffering that's going on, and we have to get over those things in the past. We have to forgive all the wars, we have to forgive all the people that are even right now currently being assholes in our opinions, like people that are holding us down and neglecting us. We have to turn our cheek to them and ignore them until they, and even their own people, have to turn their cheek to them and ignore them or move away from their countries until they stop trying to get our attention by power. Like, we have to show them that power and that whole, you listen to me or I'll kill you thing. <laughs> like, we have to tell, show them that that's not going to work anymore. We won't listen. We'll go, we'll, we'll move away from you. We won't pay attention to you. Like, and not overpower them with force and physicality and violence because that's just relaying the same message over and over and over. And we're just doing the same thing. Even if we say we're doing it out of, you know, justice, we're not. Because another person was just misled by their body or by their life up to this point. You know, it's such a reoccurring thing that happens over and over. This has happened billions of times over and over. And we can break it this time. I mean, that's what my life is dedicated to. There are a lot of dogmas related to everything. Even nature has dogma related to it. But there's a true nature. There's a true emotional rightness. There's a true natural, physical operation. How we should be eating. How we should be building the environment. There's a true, you know, way we should be treating each other. We shouldn't be getting married one-on-one. -on -one. We should have, just like nature does, have mating seasons. And only, not just in, the, in a certain time of year, when population is currently at the rate of not overpowering the environment, where people start growing their own gardens all the time, every house, and we stop going out to restaurants and buying mass amounts of food that we don't need to eat, 
We don't need to eat two cheeseburgers once in, in, a, in a sitting and then four hours later eat another meal and then eat another meal later. We don't need to do that. We could eat one sandwich and be okay for a, a week. You, you guys don't understand, like, we don't need to eat anywhere near what we're eating. We don't need to consume anywhere near what we're consuming. We don't need to travel the way we're traveling as much as we do and polluting the world the way we do. And you know what's weird is we're not really polluting the world except we have the idea that we are. And until we can take away the idea that what we're doing is bad, the things that we think are bad are bad because people think they are. So until we do that, we have to basically take all those things away and start over fresh. How do we do that? Willpower. We have to decide to, as a union, as a world, like we have to do that. But people won't want to do that because they want to do it their way. And it isn't my way. It's God's way. It's nature's way. It's the universal way. There's, there's only one righteous way to do it. There's a billion ways that you could do it. And, and then eventually over a long term, it'll, it'll you know destroy itself. But there's one righteous way to do it where it keeps building itself and keeps prospering and going further and further and better and better without any negative side effects. There will be negative possibilities because there always has to be a positive and a negative. But the negative will be holding us in place. The positive will be like moving us forward. The neutral will be, well, the neutral will be uh, how the negative holds us in place as the positive moves us forward kind of thing. It doesn't, it makes more sense if you really, really get it. You see it in vibrational sense, but that, that stuff doesn't need to be worried about until people start taking the steps of liking each other first. I mean, first, we have to get over stuff. And next, I have, I have the steps for the whole world if they want to. Like, not the U.S., the U.W., the United World. I'm not a United States citizen. I'm not a citizen of, of a country. I'm not a citizen of anything. I'm a citizen of the world. I'm a citizen of the universe, of the galaxy, of it, of all. I'm a citizen of God. That's what I am. That's what we should all try to become. And not because I say so, because nature intends that for us. We all know that we're fucking up. So we just got elected upon ourselves to stop fucking up. And not worry about everybody else, or what everybody else says is right. And know what we deep down know seems the most right for now. Seems the most right. Whatever seems the most right, go in that direction until you're like, oh, guess it wasn't. And that wouldn't even, even include killing or harming anything if you go with what seems the most right. And I'm talking all the way up to you know, military leaders and, and political leaders. They have to start doing what seems the most right. As if every person in the world was their wife, child, mother, or father. Something like that. Or something that they hold dear to them. If they don't have any of those things that they hold dear. Something. Their self. If they're still alive, they've at least held themselves at least dear enough to not kill themselves up to this point. Because maybe they're just afraid of fear. Maybe they just don't even like themselves, but they like their body. Because they're afraid to die. Something. They have to start with treating everything as that one thing they don't want to hurt. And then we, will, we go from there. And I can help us when we need to. Woo! I love you guys.